Well, Jamal Myers here with Hero Finds Tiffin at Liverpool Comic Con. All the fans have come out to come and see some of the favourite stars. Obviously, massive Harry Potter fan myself. Let's go back to the beginning. One of your first roles, Half Blood Prince, playing young Tom Riddle. And for those that don't know, you're the nephew of uh, Voldemort himself, uh, Ray Fiennes. Um, how did that role come about and um, how amazing of an experience was that for you at such a young age? Initially it feels like a lifetime ago, like yeah. it really does feel like a lifetime ago. But yeah, it started with my mum saying, do you want to do an audition for Harry Potter? And I said, I'm never going to get that, like, I'd why? And she was like, you get a day off school. And I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> so she sold me on the day off school and I think there was like seven, seven auditions and we got to the end of the process and met David Yates and I'm sure yeah, yeah. being the nephew of Rafe definitely like helped and probably felt like it was meant to be to them and yeah, the rest, the rest is history. I mean, you were very creepy in that role, and the actor. You. <laughs> the, so you did it very well, and uh, the actor who played it after you as a, as a teenager was very creepy as well. Just in terms of you tapping into a darker side, it must be difficult for a, a young actor and a young man. What what do you tap into at a young age? What what are the sort of directions that you're being given? Do you know what I have to say? My mum, love you, mum, for this. She really, really helped me so much with that. Um, in terms of just, she's a director herself, and she really just gave me so much direction when we were practicing and rehearsing and like to be honest looking back I feel like she kind of did it for me because I would have been so clueless at that stage I really do feel like her direction and how she thought I should play it was kind of kind of what I went with so thanks mum. And you were going toe to toe with Michael Gambon which uh, you know it, it's a mean feat at for such a young age how pleasant was he on set he must have been like the grandfather you've always wanted. Bro that guy is uh, that was that was such an honourable like opening experience to like acting especially on a bigger stage because I didn't feel like I was toe to toe with him it felt like I was like side by side with him yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean yeah. even though the scene is a little bit you know kind of opposite each other he is just the most supportive amazing chill friendly messing around making jokes and then action goes and he's flawless performance and it was really inspirational looking back to work with someone so professional but so fun and relaxed. And the last thing I'd add is this this guy's hands, Michael Gambon's hands, went from his, like, they're like a foot long. Oh, big wizard hands. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. Um, what was your knowledge of Harry Potter prior to that? Were you big into it? Were you aware of it? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I feel like, I feel like it, I don't know anyone who wasn't, really. Yeah. I think it was something where, although I wasn't fanatic and friends weren't fanatic, when the new one comes out, you just kind of have to watch it. It's yeah, a bit like a rite of passage. It just felt like something that you wanted to do, but just kind of had to do. It was everywhere, so... Yeah, I mean, being involved in it was so surreal because, like you say, I was I was following it along every step of the way. And I actually met Daniel Radcliffe, I think, through my uncle two years before when yeah. we went around, walked around set and I had no idea I'd ever be in it. And we got a free, like, you know, mug with all the all the houses on it. And, yeah, and yeah two years later, I was saying, like, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm working with you. So, yeah. Did you get to go and see your uncle on set in the prosthetics, in, when, in the costume? When I first went, the two to just go around I think I went with my brother and a couple cousins and he just got all the, the young kids who were into Harry Potter tickets yeah. all of his nieces and nephews and uh, it was great fun and we saw him in the robe and all the full makeup and he did have his nose I have to say that's that's they don't cut it off that's you know CGI, CGI and stuff yeah, yeah, but regardless yeah. he looked so scary so scary uh, but no we weren't on set together when I actually filmed but um, it was nice to see him in it and kind of make that link and connection beforehand so and you've stuck with the career as well you know a lot of actors who start from a young age they might fade away or it might not be the career for them but you know you've got such a, a great direction with it being a, a family orientated business for yourself mm. um, in terms of the wisdom that Rafe has passed on and other members of the family like your, your mum you mentioned as well how great is it having that support to carve your own way in this industry as well it's amazing I feel like I I'm, I'm so lucky to, to have them there's a tiny element of be, be, me being like, no, I don't want their help. I want to do this myself. But I just have to just kind of take a step back and realise over the years how much kind of info and stuff they've drip fed me, almost without me realising. So I'm sure it's almost more than I'm even aware of how much they've all helped me. So. Perfect. Really appreciate your time, man. Thank you so much.